Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy. Today's the day that they die. Jesse Wig, Biggs, Biggs, Wigs, Wedge, those guys. Rip. It's okay, we knew it was coming. All right, let's go. How have you guys been? You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... Damn, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. And that's... The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. Hell yeah. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. That sounds extra fun. Hopefully you can figure out whatever the issues are. Rats. I, I've been uh, this morning before work, I was looking around at various like failed or cringy or whatever runs that have been done at GDQ, which has been interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Hopefully you can fix it by going back. Hello. No holding back. That's it. <laughs> uh, there's actually a dude who cheated a run at the most recent SGDQ. I think Carl Jobs just put out a video about it too. If you want to look into that. But it was a. Uh, he ran uh Metal Gear Solid Revengeance and he did a legit run of Revengeance, but he did a he faked a run of the DLC. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh big arms mean big hand jobs. Um I'm kinda surprised he got away with it and wasn't immediately called out because like when he was running Revengeance, the main plot, uh, he was really quiet and the people that were commentating with him were doing all the commentating. And his keyboard was really loud and stuff. But then when he was running the DLC, his, there wasn't a whole lot of keyboard action. He, he got, he 
sent away all of his co-commentators and was very talkative. And there was even one point where the camera moved, but his right hand was up. So he couldn't, so he, there was no way he was moving the mouse. Uh, but when people did call him out, he... Interesting. Basically, I, from what I've seen, it seemed like he tried to insist. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and as if he did it to show people how good. Because he he played a spliced run. Uh, for people. For the for the thing. Because he was he was streaming from home. Because you know during COVID, a lot of people couldn't, people couldn't should go live. So, uh, uh, people were streaming from home, and then there were still a few people stream, streaming from home this year. Anyway, he he played a spliced run of the DLC, and his his reasoning was that. Uh, well, what did I tell you? That if people saw how good the run could be, then more people would be interested in speedrunning Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. And that he basically had a fucking villain speech wherein he was like, I did a bad thing, but it was for good, and I'm, I'm the real hero. Also, another really th another thing that made it super obvious, and I don't know why people didn't notice sooner, is when he when the run ended, it was a world record. But then he was like, he like got really weird and was like, let's not call, let's not freak out about this being a world record. You know, for all you know, while I'm doing this run, someone else could have gotten an even faster time, time or some that's something weird like that. It was really fucking sketchy. I don't know how people didn't immediately go, oh, he faked this run. Let's get him. It seems really obvious, like watching people watching clips from it. It's also weird because, again, he did a real run of the main revenge story, so clearly he was and like his his run that he did would have was like fast enough that uh was like top twenty placement level. Because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Time, so he could have probably done a pretty good run of the DLC on his own. Hmm. That's supposed to be a That's compliment. not good. Uh, hopefully that doesn't keep happening. I'm not good enough with computers to give any advice. I know occasionally I'll have high usage, but uh, it's usually like something updating or something. It's never, it's not like a consistent thing that just keeps happening. Try to stay behind me. What? That what? Way what? I can cover your back. Going in. Get ready. See there was also some other fun. There was so because I watched some other ones. There was a run uh, that someone did of Halo Two, I think, back in like 2011. Uh, where they also got in. This was way before GDQ was like big, though. But uh, they they. They got into the Guinness Book of World Records because they spliced together a no death uh legendary mode run of Halo 2 but passed it off as if it wasn't spliced it was one it done in one go. And so they ended up running Halo 2 at a uh, SG, AGDQ which I heard games in quick one of them. And it was really fucking bad. It took the estimate was 2 hours, it took over 4 hours. 
they kept not being able to do tricks and then they would just like give up uh on the second level they died so many times that they dropped from legendary to heroic and then halfway through the campaign they dropped from heroic to hey, medium or normal or whatever arm. because they were going over estimate it was it was bad and then chat kept saying that they needed to get someone else to play It was, it was, it was not great. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <laughs> yeah? Huh? <sighs> That's exactly what it feels like when you tell a joke. And it falls flat, and everyone just looks at you. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. What am I doing with this? Oh, I had to move it because. Okay, Cloud, ready. What are we doing? Oh, there we go. What was I gonna say? Oh, uh, let's see. What were some of the others? I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, there was one where someone was running Crash 2 and, like, a good, like, they were not only were they unfunny just in general and the, nobody and the crowd liked what they had what they were doing but uh they made like a good like 30 40 like 30 40 basically every time that they the crash died they were like they made like a, a suicide joke and it was really fucking cringy and unfunny and not cool uh and then they got banned understandably so uh let's see oh uh, whoop, whoop. here we go there was uh okay right there it's also one that was kind of dumb and it feels like the people at gdq just really don't like this guy but there was there was like there was one dude who uh they, they like they were like on the couch it was like a full couch of people commentating and stuff at a live you know in person and then they pulled out hats and they started wearing hats and they got in trouble because some of the hats were mega hats which is fair but then like they got they got like they were told like don't do that and take the hats off and then they immediately took the hats off uh and a couple people got banned because not all the hats were mega hats it was just like two of them but then one of the people who got banned for having a mega hat on didn't actually wear a mega hat even though gdq staff said they had like video evidence that they had a mega hat on but if you go back and watch the video they just had like the ape escape little like monkey siren hat thing on but then they and then so then they got their ban uh, revoked like they could come back but then they got rebanned because they supposedly unplugged a plug but no one could actually provide proof or evidence that that ever happened so, can we. so it just kind of feels like they just really don't like that guy for some reason i don't know what's up with that uh -oh. Anyway, that's just some of the interesting stuff I saw. Uh, how do I get down here? Leave this to me. I oh, don't hello. think so. Oh. Uh, oh, I keep hitting I keep hitting X to attack. <laughs> Ow. Uh, I'm going to swap, lock on to you. 
Hey. Ah. Rude. Security is unable to be ended. Uh, it could be a security thing. There was a security update recently. I don't know. I was I haven't been paying enough attention. Whoa, not okay, no, this is the right way. Got it. I Wawa, but probably nasty Wawa that you don't want to touch. Why is that door like 20 frames per second even though everything else is Anybody normal? Around? Guess it's just us. Mm. That fire says otherwise. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides, looky here, boys. Caught us some birds. Uh, hello. This is, uh, this is new. I'm surprised you know what compensatory means. How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. Compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. This is our camp C A M P F I R U S O N G song. Okay. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. That's all. happy if you just sing along. C A M P F I R U S O N G song. C A M P F I R U S O N G song. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster than you're wrong, but it'll help you if you just sing along. I think we've heard enough. Really st These guys are d stupid. Get fucked. Ow. No way. Oh, you bitch. Back in it. Oh, I should have done triple slash, I forgot. Oh. Nice. That's it. That was easy. You just pull up with Switchblade and Aerith hits a button on her baton and the machete comes out the end. I respect them being willing to play dead after getting their asses beat. <laughs> oh yeah, I just there was one person who got banned for like two years because they were apparently supposedly exploring the hotel where they weren't supposed to be. I, yeah, that's fair. You probably can ragdoll him.
Did I just... I, feel like I, I think I just went in a circle. I did. Fuck. Um. I saw that Cloud's model was off. His feet were like right way way on one edge. Can't fool me, game. Where was I supposed to go? Oh, this way. He's moving. Ooh, this kind of slaps. Don't leave me, I'm coming! This is the Friday Night Funkin' remix of the song. Why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? What's up, bitches? For the next fight we get into. Materia. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? I'm not I don't really care much for them turning this whole bit into like a bunch of mini games. That's an interesting way to have to do it. Yeah, that sounds pretty wacky. here magnify what the hell does magnify do
magnify this pan scrub. This is this is very dangerous. to give us some funky music. <laughs> what if they added like a one in a million chance that she can like fall off? That'd be fucked up. Just the holds gently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I think I might have fucked up. Oh, wait, no. It, maybe not? I don't know. She falls off and does the family guy Peter knee thing. God, I would be so angry. I think I need to like take her off and put the other thing on there. Ah, yeah. I would turn the game off and leave. Chocobo comes in and Peter has Cloud has like the Peter chicken fight thing but with a Chocobo yeah it, it's fine it's this way I feel like robots for me don't get uncanny unless they look too much like a real living creature The less hum the less they act like a real creature, the better in my opinion. OSHA certified. Any boxes? Nope. Hmm. 
Well, that was interesting. Oh, we tried to go for like a a high five. Nope. <laughs> uh, nice. Don't worry, we'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay. Having to learn the cues when your hands want to, when your friends want to go for like a high five or a handshake or a fist bump or whatever. Hold it right there. There's up. Territory. You gotta be good. Ow. Bitch. Berg simulator. We made it. Smell the fresh air. Sure do. do oh because i get you i wonder what happens if you just don't do this that was that was so awkward the way he like slowly raised his hand up what a loser okay we finally fucking made it to the playground holy shit all right there it is i felt like i got to this part in the first stream Looks shut. How do we open it? Uh, FF7. More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time. Yeah, to probably. Nice. Come on. <sighs> Looking respectfully. Just kidding. Enhance. You know, a long time ago. I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah? There's nothing respectful about me. <sighs> Alright, that was close to an upskirt, that's all I'm saying. So, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why does he have? T why are there two emotes of him at different distances? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I see. I see. Wow. Um. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <laughs> yeah, I have two eyes. Gotta look forward, not back. Do you know how many eyes Aito has? I bet you don't. That's deep lore. I mean, it'd be easy to guess. One? No, but that's a good guess. This won't take long. Between the A and the T. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see that coming. It was fucking I just fed you that one. Uh wanna get to sector seven in style? This is the passageway for you. You get a gold star for that one. So, <laughs> go ahead. You 
you gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'd kiss you right now. I thought you needed to get back. You are pretty quick. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. Cloud offering to walk her immediately, just like, I'll take you back. It's fine. <laughs> this is adorable. I don't want to leave her, even though I know we're going to come back to her later. What if, what's this? Oh, we're just getting in a little quick, like, balance check. All right, cool. Well, that, yep, we did that. That's cool. Hey, it's Garfield. Doesn't Garfield get blown up later? Cloud's natural hair ability is being unable to wear a fedora. Good. Guess this is it then. Ready? I don't think it does anything to do if I stick around, so yeah. Yeah. I'm sad. I'm actually like bummed out now that we're saying goodbye. Uh oh. Here's this bit. I almost forgot about this. Hey. I know her. Cloud, you're alive. I thought we'd lost you. Whoa, that is a short dress. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. Yeah! Yeah! Probably got shorts on under there, though. Because oh, no, she fights no. in that later, I'm pretty sure. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't oh my matter God. how Zit. Zit. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. We're so close to cross-dressing Cloud. You have to help her. Come on. She's right. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. Go, 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 go. Save Tifa. Wear a dress. I think this version might make you do the whole thing. I think I don't think I think you have to do it to, to full completion. I could be wrong. Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd Ouch. You me, you What's all the rookies out here? It's all the rookies out here. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your it's carriages. Your full completion, one, three, six. You know me. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. I'm so good at doing side quests. Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So. Every now and then I'll find a good one, and this is a good one. A lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl. Seeing Cloud in dress makes me fully complete. She's a great fighter. Um, she's a great fighter. I'm not sure that helps. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? And That's there we go. Oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's going to be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition. Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. 
She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon, if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. That, uh, that's a good idea. About the emote, I will keep that in mind. All right, welcome to Wall Market. Welcome to Wall Market. The place right, I just said that. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Hmm. Where to begin? Do you have ice cream? Machine broke. Yeah. Do be like that. I think this is what they said to me. Isn't it? They call themselves bankers, but they're just mummy sharks in suits. Who's back here? Magical materia shop. Fair, I guess. There's something downright wrong with this place. What is this? Locked is what it is. I feel rejuvenated alive. Oh, is this leave? Oh. I don't want to leave. That was the best thing that's ever been done to me. God's sake. Who does that behind the back? They're ripping off you and me and everyone. Oh, this place is full of food. Go or leave. This place is amazing. Hmm. It certainly feels more like a real place. Uh, but, uh, oh, is this the Honeybee Inn? We can't get in here yet. Or the Honeybee Hotel, whatever it's called. What's this? Oh, it is the Honeybee Inn. Okay, I remembered right. See? Walking house situation. Yeah, we'll fight. That's in this game, but it's in like a... It's an undisputed truth, and I dare anyone try and deny it. It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Quality monster insurance is more essential than ever these days. Huh? Okay. Let's go. Let's go back to Aerith. I don't. I don't like that we left her behind. It's you who are crazy. All right, man. Alright, uh... I don't remember the exact order we're supposed to do stuff in. But I'm pretty sure the honeybee in was one of the things you couldn't do at first. Ooh, this is the place where we get our dress made. Johnny. Hey, 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 get back here, fucker. 
We told you to get out of Midgar. Enter or not to enter. That is the question. Whether it is noble or in the mind to sever the slings and arrows of my never ending libido. No. Yeah, I should have figured. You're not the philosophical introspective type like me. That soft, naive face. I know you're kind well, bro. You're just another muscle head who uses violence to work through your inner demons. It's sad, really. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Oh, he doesn't remember me. Because I, he had, he was blindfolded. I don't care. Keep us here. Why? Tell me why. Oh God, no! I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you. Tifa, I'm coming, baby. Yes, it kind of does. Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. What a psycho. Well, that happened. I guess. Okay. Well, never mind. I don't know if that was really even worth coming over here for. Honestly. Okay. Let's see. That's Don Cornelio's mansion. We can't go there. Is this the restaurant? Yep. Uh, can we do any of this yet? I don't actually remember. Hello, can we talk to you? My dear beloved girl, I'm so sorry. Okay, coming right up. Mm. I don't think we can do that yet. Excuse me, lady. Oh, it's the gym. We can't do the gym yet. I know. Maybe we do need to go to the clothing shop first. I don't know. Or maybe, no, actually, I think we need to come up here. I think we had to, like, activate something to get Tifa, or to get Aerith to want to do it. So that meant actually whale on Gacha. I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is it. Gotta yeah, talk to these dudes, and they'll tell us that no dudes allowed, basically. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. Oh, don't you? We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah. So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door, especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Maybe, but you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kind of cute. Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kind of cute's not gonna cut it. This dude? Yeah. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. <laughs> If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. All right. Interesting. In the other game, you could you just had to dress up as a girl and they'd let you in. But now we actually have to like meet other people. I guess it fleshes out the area more, but I feel like it also is going to pad this section out longer than it needs to be. What's back here? Ooh. Oop. Yep. 
Eric, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? Shut but up, Johnny. To earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> I guess they really wanted Johnny to be a major character in this. Nope. But I'm not sure why. thing it's the weapon shop but we don't really need to come here until later <laughs> anything in particular today yes please feel free to look around okay or not hmm. this feels like one of those sections where they've changed it up enough that knowing what I'm supposed to do is actually gonna make me more confused because I'm going to have to try to do it in the original order. What is this? Uh... Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. Sure about that? You still got room for more? Made a little extra. Want to spend it on some good eating. How do I... How do I uh, can, can I not sit? Why? It's a set meal with some fish. Huh. Okay. Well, now I'm not sure what to do. How'd you like a piping hot bun filled with the finest, most delicious? Didn't have ramen date with Arizona, right? Did we go back to Chocobo Sam first? Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. Yeah, I like when games do that. You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how about we play for it? Call it, Miffy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Interesting. I feel like it's a double sided coin. But I don't know what size what. That's just my guess. Heads, I don't know. Fuck. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. 
But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That rhymed. That's why it's a trio, not just the meal. Now skedaddle. I wonder if you can win that or. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Oh, I fucking knew it. Coin. I had a hunch. So did I. That's cheating. And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Don's running pigtails in the coin. I knew. Yeah. I knew it. You couldn't win it. It's double sided coin, but it's double sided the way that you don't pick. That was my guess. As soon as soon as he looked at us and he gave it, yeah, like glint in his eyes. I was like, it's double sided, and it's gonna be whatever side I don't pick. I fucking fry my fucking dogs. <laughs> Hello, child. What are you? Why are you? Why are you everywhere I go? You're fucking freaky. Okay, now I need to get into the honeybee somehow. I don't think they'll let me in though. Whoa, it's jo Johnny. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. Came to ask about cars extended warranty. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. She got you there, Cloud. <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I'm I'm here with my wife. Thank you. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Walmart. I saw that look you gave my girlfriend. You bitch. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Oh, they have honey boys and honey girls. Ah, the shining star. Of the what about honey days? Who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. It's a nice tie. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Damn. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Who is the third person? I actually don't remember. Oh, I wonder if my honey girl got the flower bouquet. This is gonna be amazing. Keep dreaming, dude. She doesn't love you. Classic idol culture. I feel like. Uh. Is there a button for like quests? Oh, here we go. Madam M. Oh, the, masha the, 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 the massage parlor. Right. Hey, Dode. Where is the massage parlor actually? Don't remember. Is this a massage parlor? No. Uh, that's the honeybee, and I don't either. I don't enjoy dressing up. Shut up. Uh. Oh, that's this place. Right, right, right. Uh, where's the massage parlor? Family hotel. 
hotel where you go to make families. Oh, it is over this way. Here we go. Whoa, Johnny. What the fuck did you do? Yeah, M also stands for Madam. Madam, Madam. That's cool. I'm fine with that. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you. Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. She really can laid it on thick. Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don for love of uh, Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Back off, lady. Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me. Oh. The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Oh. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. Am I about to have to? So, which course will it be? What's happening? <laughs> Luxury? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? I'm scared. <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well to do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. Ah. That's it. Relax. I'm only uh, here to help. Help. <laughs> I can't handle this. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the face. Of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. Who we? <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. It's time to d d d d demonetize. Stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure. Ah, who? Ha. Ha. How about this? Maybe this. Who we? Ha. Ha. He. Who. Do come again. Right. Talk about a hand job, am I right, fellas? Hey -o. How was it? Huh? I'm playing as Aerith. <laughs> He's so out of it. Yeah. That would have been fucking hilarious. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am. Really weird. <laughs> you good? Do I oh all right then 
I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. <laughs> I'm st I, I, I'm just kind of confused as to what just happened. I'm not. I guess she's just really into hands. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm. Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Praneo a candidate for in such a plain looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Hey. Just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll I don't know. None of the none of those were nice, so. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. I think her outfit's cute, but it's kind of price tag. So listen. It's I not a getting into Darren Caneo's mansion kind of dress. Coliseum in this town. Up for a fight club? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. Oh shit, we're gonna go fight the house. I'll transform Aerith into a drop dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. We're in. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. All right. Well, that was an experience. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. Like I wouldn't body. expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too cocky, okay? Let me check them out. It's more of a... Gets lost in the wood by eating strange mushrooms off the ground for an afternoon. Yeah, exactly. Which is exactly what we love about Aerith. But again, it's not what's going to get us into Corneo's mansion. Tifus is type, which means we need to look like... Well, a ditzy big booby lady. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Yep. Team. No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes I wish she gets the fancy dress she upgrades to eating truffles off the ground, but right. takes them out herself. She gets the ability to sniff out truffles. Down, down, down we go. Tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. I wonder how many people are fighting. A lot. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? God, I, I, I relate to Cloud and one thing more than anything else, and it's his. He's just as bad as conversation as I am, and just as overly serious as I am. Meredith, what are you? Shh, quiet. I can hear some new voices around here. Well, he's more serious than I am, but if I were like an anime character. I probably have this about the same seriousness as Cloud. I asked Nemo what Flanderized Ito would be, and he described it as, uh, what did he say? 
maliciously apathetic or something like that. Try to find it. Hell yeah. No. Whatever, I can't find it. Anyway, you get the idea. Hello, what are we doing? Ready? Uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. Fine. They go in here. Oh. Hey, Johnny. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and. Well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Yay. Make your way to the gate. They're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Yep, yep, yep. Try not to get yourselves killed. What do I look like? A fucking chump? For our next batch, we welcome two fighters. A young couple, no less. Talk about a bad day. This is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! <laughs> All right, we'll show him. We'll show him. Couple, get out of here with that lovey dovey bullshit. Up with the pole. Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl. Okay, now I'm mad. Good. Let's fucking show him. <laughs> Death. I'm gonna cut a monster's head off and make it land on that guy. Like the Hercules spit when he cuts the Hydra's first head off and it lands in the crowd. Jesus. I've killed these guys before. Get ready. Beastmaster. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna triple slash. And then Braver, the Beastmaster. Nice. You're done. Nice. Oh, you're so alive. Fuck. We're gonna fight Man to Moth. Lines with the Jumbotron. Hits the Jumbotron with just enough force that it falls down, crushing him. I win the match. That was easy. And the winner to 
Johnny's just a bitch. What's that weird effect? Do you see that? When I like move, there's like a like weird like warbly effect around them. What the fuck? That's super weird. Contenders, please return to your waiting room. It only well, happens out on the floor. Go team. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Yeah. It's... It might be less noticeable for you guys. It's very noticeable for me. Cloud and Aaron. Oh, we're already ready to go. Cool. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. So you say. Just remember, try not to die. Yeah, I was gonna. I was about to say you're probably on mobile right now, so that's it, gonna be a lot harder for you. I'm on a big monitor, and it's shrunk down extra for you because it, you know, the way my layout's set up, so. Couple of my yes. Eat my dick. Hopefully that works and fixes it. Wait, back. The guys we just beat up. Talks like the Toilinator. Green haired dude. Oh. Okay. Saw their wavelength, but more put together in, in public. Yeah. They're like the they're like the they're the type of gremlin that's kind of annoying. It's just annoying and not cute. It's like goblins, how they are in D D canon before, versus how goblins are played by most people. I'm just gonna beat the shit out of back over here. Okay, bye back. So okay, okay, bitch. Triple slash. I got an achievement. Which means that I, I'm finished with this sword and I can switch back. Ow. Who hit me? Bitch. Alright. Fuck. You. Oh, oops. Focus thrust. Got them both. Ow, you're a dick. These guys are fucking annoying, actually. The warning shot. The next one kills. Uh, how do I switch back? Yeah. Soul drain. What the fuck does that? Oh my god. She just sucked his soul out. Lizard. Bitch. 
Alright, I just wanted to switch back to Cloud, so I was still Cloud. Let's start the next fight. It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot. But somehow the winners of our match are. Once again, Cloud and Aaron. All right. First time using her, you learn she has an ability that just chokes a guy out with the baton. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall for grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. Ooh, they got history drama. Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing. Wambone. <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. The house. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what totally have a cactus wife. But you yeah. know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. For sure. He's got a cactus of, of the of Madame M. We have flowers? Whoa, we're fucking popular. I should sleep. Cloud and Aaron. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. All right, let's go. I sat down for five seconds. I'm ready to go. Actually, let me check my sword and see if I can swap back to Buster. First of all, uh, we should be here. Yep. Okay. Uh. Never uses ward. So I'm gonna have to. S a hint? Uh, sure. I don't really care all that much. Uh. Let me upgrade my shit if I can. Oh, I can't. You get SP. I have no idea. Anyway. Uh. Let's, I wanna try to have a spread. Okay. Good to know. We got a provoking ATB. Eris got wind, so I will throw. Oops. We need to take fire off somebody. Uh oh, Eris got ice. Never mind. Uh throw on my lightning. And uh Yeah, I guess that's it. Then I'll switch this to elemental and then I'll throw uh Well, I wanna ha I guess I should give Cloud them all because Yeah. So I can use them all. Okay. Let's go. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? Damn Skippy. 
lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Okay, man. Okay, dude, we just met. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Mario Kart announcement? Uh, the, like the, the next phase of the, uh, new DLC stuff. I don't really, I didn't see much about it. I just know there was an, some more Mario Kart stuff. I still haven't gotten the first round that they put out because I have haven't touched Mario Kart in a while. I'll probably get around to it sooner or later. House, 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 house. They love me. They really love me. I was not the house. Map treeway. I I feel like at this point, if they're gonna keep adding more tracks to eight, they may as well just add every track that's ever been in the game. Except maybe some of the Super Mario Kart ones, because I don't know, I, get, I feel like some of those are gonna be pretty whatever. Oh, okay. It's these these guys, I guess. More like Shinra armor. More like cheating. I do be like that. Walk away with a one million kill prize. Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now. Okay, I'm gonna guess the year week two. Probably not fire, or not probably not lightning because you're yellow. The crane demands the turn. Bus off blitz. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Fire, fire. Better. No. Nope. Oh, you spit fire back out of me. Maybe you are weak. To, maybe, maybe you're yellow because I'm supposed to hit you. You're staggered now, so maybe I don't know. Whatever. Fuck you. I'm kill, kicking your ass anyway. Back up. Okay, let's try Thunder. I'm just gonna try with Thunder in case it heals it. Uh, oh, it's weak. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's confusing, in my opinion. But, eh, whatever. I think of silence. Oh, shit! Ow, 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 Oh, I can't. Right, right, right. Eh, I'll just braver then. Fuck you. Oh, I missed. Cool. Nice. Good job, me. Oh, but my silence wore off. You're dead. You're weak to fire, but you're basically dead, so I don't even know if it's worth doing. That was easy. And the winners of the Corneo Cup, the deadly and dynamic duo, Clown and Aaron! What's up? My condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry, the madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. House. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. House, 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 house. Did you change? And then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But 
You still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? How simd. That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? You greedy bastard, scum sucking piece of shit, fester, you asshole! Uh, <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's Somebody's a little cranky. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Alright. I'm going to do a little switchy swatchy. We're taking off the fire material. Bam. Bam. We're going to put the lightning material here with the elemental. And we're going to put the ice on here because we have effort for fire. I don't actually know how to summon. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. I haven't used the summon yet. Is it? Or for me? Or for the, just for the game? Or both? Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, ba, 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 ba. Both, really. That's weird. Let me record it. It's perfectly synced in my... I didn't touch anything. It's perfectly synced in my recording, though. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh. It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. It's happened before. And we share your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt I remember one time where Shumi said it was off and... Or something. Shumi and Bakin were seeing different things. And Bakin was, re was accurate. Shumi had to like reload to fix it.
just a house. Never just a house, Aerith. That's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this time. Manifest manifestation of pure evil. You have not. No, sir, you have not. They've left love. To come, keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen. The cups fight final battle begins now. Oh, well, let's go. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, stop, stop, cease, cease. Oh, ah, ah. Steal it with a skill. What the tower? Oh, the teddy bear? Oh, interesting. I don't have steel yet, so. Hey! I have a summon gauge. When facing a formidable enemy in battle, the men should be slumbering within equipped. So you just put, oh, now, so you can only summon sometimes, basically. Doing something. Not yet. Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Whoa! What the? What the? I don't like the way it's coming at me. Fuck! Don't touch me! Don't don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Braver the house. Triple slash. Summon. Why can't I summon? Here we go. Ifrit. You ever heard the sound of a rubber ball breaking a window? No. Do you want to? Do your thing. I do want to. Hey, what's up, Ifrit? Do I get to play as Ifrit? That'd be interesting. Oh shit, I do. Someone's fight alongside. Oh, they fight with you. These beings have will their own engaged the enemies. They see fit. However, you can command them to unleash unique attacks. Expanding your party's ATP gauges. Okay, interesting. Is this the first time you're allowed to summon? Uh huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, what? Oh, fuck God house mode. What the fuck? Just pull up barrier. Is that what that is? Oh, shit. House call. That break. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to have you do Radiant Plume on this motherfucker. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go again. Deal with that. I'll take care of him. Can you take over for me? I don't know if it's a damage thing to get rid of that or what. But I if it is a damage thing. Oh, there goes Ifrit. Oh, he just like a cool final attack before he leaves. 
Okay. Fair enough. See you soon. Okay. Don't fucking do it again. Wizard Powerhouse does like no damage. Ooh. Max even has a mouser head. True. Whoa. Heavens. Heavens Ward. What the fuck? What does that mean? Plus wacky. Oh shit. Two. One. Uh oh. Here we go, Hellbound. What the fuck? Oh, that's hurt. Oh, we're gonna fucking. That's the weakest my limit's ever been. Ooh, bullshit. Uh-oh. That's your limit. Healing wind and refocus. Uh, healing wind, I guess. Oh shit. Here it's- Oh wait, you're- That's right. They have iframes. Uh oh Give me my fucking girlfriend back. Oh, I'm supposed to be attacking the hat. I think I'm supposed to be attacking the hands. Ah, ah, ah! Power Bracer. Oh, no. It only gives me. Just give me the option to target with Braver. The hands with Braver. Stop, stop, stop. Uh -huh. Oh, it's doing this shit again. Last little section of this fight is kind of annoying. Focus on the hands, hold on. Oh, you're right. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck. 
Nope, 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 nope. Oh, fuck. That boy. Rare, you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? <laughs> I guess he's going to be plot relevant, even though he didn't even. Another character that didn't exist in the original game. That's now very plot relevant. There you are. I've been looking for you two. So You're welcome, by the way. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. I will pass. I will. I'm going to go advance the plot. Thank you. Saw how it changed colors during the fight? Yeah. Except the problem is that I had uh, lightning attached to my sword, so I had to, uh, I could only do lightning damage when I physically attacked it. So I just had to, I just had to slap it with my lightning sword.
Uh, is that I forgot. Oh. Think you're too good for my fun? Also, Cloud doesn't really have much MP. I didn't even consider putting a bunch of combat materia on Aerith until after we got to the fight. Where's the... Oh, it's over here. It's probably the one downside with the way this game works is that since I usually just play as Cloud, I forget that I can put shit on my other party members too. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. You know me. That's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earned. All right, now that that's out of the way, huh. once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right, then. I think that was her way of saying... Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Was that her way of say, saying that if I did more side quests, I get a better dress? It better not be. <laughs> you look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say... Why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here? In no. Walmart? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Don't you talk well, about her like that? See you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. All right. Well, I have to do side quests. Ain't that fun? You burning thigh. What the fuck does that mean? I assume I'm just going to be doing the stuff that you have to do in the original game. But it is a little annoying that I had to go through that whole thing and then now I still have to do the side quests. I'm going to go check out what's in here. I don't really have a lot of money, but... See the sign out front? All I got is materia. Mm hmm. Anything I don't already own? Nope. Okay, well then I don't care. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. I didn't buy anything. Bye. Talk about busy day. I feel like they should hit. I wish more games had a response for characters to have if you don't buy anything. I'll take a dozen, yeah. Uh, let's go find. Is there like a bench I can go sit on here? I don't see any rest spots. There's one all the way out there. But I can't get to that. So, never mind. Whatever. We'll stop here then. We are in the red light district. What's up, Ash? You just missed us fighting a house. Uh. Yeah. All right, well, let me look at this side quest I'm going to have to do out of curiosity. Is it? Uh, oh, is it only two? Okay, that's not too bad, actually. One of them is the gym thing. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go to the gym real quick. I kind of want to see if the gym is like the original game. Never seen you before. What's up? Here to work out. 
waiting for you to Put show up. Thanks for coming. Of yours. And welcome to our humble training hall. Uh huh. Tools. Head trainer. I see. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? Okay. I'm down. <laughs> How serious are you? Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. All right, Ronnie. Now, now. Let's go. Let's go. Judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm ready. You up for a round? Yeah. Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichord left out in the sun. Got okay. no idea what you're getting into. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Let's go. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. Squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Now, don't go crying a muff. Oops. Form squats being off, you just fall. I mean, I guess you, if your if your form's off, you probably would fall over. Not bad. Yeah. What a long-winded insult. To judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Uh -huh. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging Simple my buff friend is steroids. We're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. Okay. If you're ever up for training. Our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain. That's to Aerith catching a bug and eating <laughs> Like a frog. Hold on. Uh, starting weight. Complete jobs. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Or did I? Wait, no, that's that's the massage parlor. Okay, no, I did. Okay, no mind, no mind, no mind. For a second, I was like, motherfucker, you tricked me. Okay, that was fine, though. That was fun. I kind of want to go see what the other one is, actually. I'm kind of curious if it's going to be like a little mini game like that. If it's just a mini game, that's fine. I don't mind that. You? You. Madam M told me about a merc. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Take this bug and eat it. Here we go. None other than the notorious angel of the slums. Who's that? Shame can be used again for other fun rewards. I see. Too bad I don't do side quests. Unless, unless we go, unless you know, fun rewards are. Listen to me. I guarantee you this is the the angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. In which case, I will do that. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved guardian angel. You heard the man, Merc. 
I've got to find those thieves to clear the angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything okay. to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. Okay. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. Uh, let's go see what this is. Wait, am I going the right way? Yes. God damn. We got a long run just to go fetch these fuckers. Is that who I think it is? Drinking with your mask on. The Japanese bit thing, you can using your finger to confuse a dragonfly, but she'd get confused too. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? Shut up! We're kicking Blondie's ass for being an ass! Reminds me of that one dude from TMNT that wears a hockey mask. Oh. Peace, Jims. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. You guys about to fucking ram the shit out of me. Ow. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ow, come on. Okay, that's annoying. Back in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I can look so unhinged, is he? I wouldn't. I didn't watch uh, DMT growing up. Oh, those things are really annoying. The angels of the slum? He's still trying to drink. Oh, man, you're real stupid. The whole gang in that one combo, yeah. Garden angels, get it right! Shut your trap, moron! Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah. I wonder if there's a side quest for the angel of the slums. These guys are just small time scrubs who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should have listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square. Once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox. He didn't even touch you. Yeah, you lummox, you lummox. So what about the donations? Sure are some characters. Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better, even. It's the angel of the slums! She took the darn stuff! He's gonna be pissed! Well, I'll be seeing you. Huh. 
Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. All right, let's go see Earth and address, so, and then then we'll call it. Guardian angel of the slums, radiant defender of the downtrodden. Huh. Wonder if I'm an accomplice. That's enough of that. Should probably get back to Madame Mims. Yeah. Why, hey there, champ. Hi. Got word from Madam M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. Uh, so, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? No. We've got a hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go another round or ten. And something tells me they're <laughs> She's not going to rest. She's a superhero alternate personality. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP. Don't want to. Can I, do I have to do that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Cloud, finally. Johnny, shut up. What are you doing here? Tifa. She. I. Tifa. She, she's. I don't. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? Take a deep breath and we'll walk the other way. And Tifa's. Chief is gonna be. Yeah, I know, man. I, just, I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too. Hey, Cloud, bro. I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. Oh so, my like, gosh. I, get so strong anyway, bro. I said. Uh, the way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. I'm talking to you, I you know. I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. I'm just so, too smart and cool and, and handsome. Smart stand -up. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. What are we doing? Are you just breaking in? You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. I feel like we didn't need to have me run all the way over here and talk to him. Like I, I was, I was well aware of what what this entailed. I feel like even if I'd never played FF7 before, I would have gotten the gist of that, but. I don't know. What the fuck? Oh. Hey, what's up? Come on. Rat. Ain't she purdy? Uh, Aerith, what are you wearing? Bad. Like super bad. <laughs> we know I gotta eat too. Trying to figure out if there was anything more I could have done with it, but doesn't really matter if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still, you put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? 
Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay I think that was the game saying I didn't do enough side quests. Fuck off, game. This place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. <laughs> see what? Cloud address. According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Cloud and address. Okay, now we gotta go see if Cloud gets his dress. Hey, wait, 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 shut the fuck up. Don't talk to my girl. Fuck off. I have a big sword. Hey, I see the way you're looking at her. I was looking to confirm what I already knew. But there is no one. Okay, loser. Shut up. You think the six foot sword would deter people in this part of town? I agree. Honestly, if I was them, I think that this guy worked for Corneo. Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. Yes. It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sounds good? Straightforward approach is good. I dig it. So, you a top sider? Oh, wait, I gotta... Oh, oh, you, right, because... Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the honeybee... Oh, I think we should approach him. You get the exits and I go for the throat. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Am I going to have to perform? Oh boy. Hello. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen Hi. by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Press A, B, X, and Y in time with the music using the rhythm line as a guide. Oh boy. I feel like this is going to not be good. Uh oh. This is very silly. It's a pretty good remix. Got six greats and four goods. I mean, that's fine by me. The timing on that feels a little weird. It doesn't really feel like it's in sync with the music either. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. Oh, fuck yes. 
Dancing Queen. Is that Cloud? Oh. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> I think they need to use a little magic to make the sword like that type of light strip thing you spin around. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's okay, Cloud. I, I wouldn't know how to handle that either. how they like panned the camera up so you couldn't see her when she like spread her legs open. I feel like it's one of those things where like if if you ha don't know what a strip club's like you might not realize what's happening just off camera but uh I think we all know. Welcome to the Humvee in the cloud. You seek my approval, do you? Oh, I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. I like how gay this guy is. I would never come here myself, but it's kind of fun for a video game setting. <clears throat> I'd rather someplace like the bar for Majora's Mask. Think you can follow my lead? Much dimmer, more chill. Milk, exactly. Get a cloud. Oop, that was bad. It is on beat, I can't tell. No, it's not. Some of them some of them feel like they're like almost on beat. This is, uh, interesting. Oh, I couldn't really see it. I got freaked out that I was going to hit it wrong. So I just kind of mashed B. silly but let's be honest there's no way cloud knows how to dance like this this is just for the uh fan service i can also guarantee that there's people who like grew up with the original version of this game who are really mad about this part Aerith, but she says modern zoomed 
humor phrases and has no idea what they mean. <laughs> I absolutely. She would. She would for sure. I only got a, like three or four misses out of all that. I think that's. I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin. Yes. Cloud in a dress. Cloud in a dress. as excited as I am. Yes! <laughs> I love how into this Aerith is. That was this is that wasn't even a like this is haha this is fun that was like a oh my god I, I my heart actually just skipped a beat when I saw that kind of response. I'm telling that was like a legitimately like a heart she had a heart flutter and like that's so gay I love it but also I'm taken sorry. She yeah, she like she she definitely had that that face of like oh my god I'm in love kind of moment and you know what you know what Aerith you were right ha hoo ha he ha hoo ha I, I will compliment this game and say that it is it has gotten me more flustered tonight than most games can or, or media in general can manage to do in, at all oh, wow. now that was a show well it's simple there's nothing wrong with that please don't oh sorry yes So what are we doing now? Not a word. Not even one? No. But you're so pretty. All right. Well, I think that's where we'll Now that we got the to cloud address, we will actually stop there tonight. I don't think which allows 10 minute clips. There's a VOD. Ooh, and you can go back and watch me freak out about the Madam M bit. Uh, all right, cool. And with that, let's go find somebody to raid, and we can we'll get to enjoy more of Cloud and Address uh, next week. <laughs> Open the game next time. We'll see a thousand hours playtime in this file. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's Fine. Still the same chapter, exactly. I just want to enjoy Aerith and Cloud's time together looking cute. All right. Is that so wrong? <laughs> All right. Let's see who's streaming. Not a lot. Oh, Fang's, Fang's streaming Sonic Adventure 2. I might go raid Fang. Maybe. We'll see. Oh boy! Smooching time! Hell yes. Exactly, Ash. Exactly. See, I'm looking around to see if there's anyone else interesting, but I don't think there is. 
it's it's uh oh it's a uh... Gareth it's a bug has got a new dress Clendus got dressed and danced hell yes dude okay yeah we'll go Red Fang enjoy a little wacky Sonic Adventure shenanigans put my keyboard closer Damn. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll play some books next Sunday night. And I will see you guys then. Have a good day, good night, whatever's for you, and I'll see you in the next stream. Mwah.